Hey guys, it's Mark from Adventure Time Outdoors. So um, I've been working on a little something here. I've been carving for the last uh, day or so. Uh, well, just started yesterday, but uh, I wanted to give you a quick look at something I've been working on. And uh, I wanted to show you my carving tools, the things that I use. Uh, you may be kind of surprised uh, what I use and uh, compared to some other people, but uh, I like to keep it pretty much simple. The, um, the stuff that I like to use for bushcraft is also the things I like to use for uh, my carving and anywhere else I tend to be uh, you know, tend to be using. I don't want to have to carry, uh, you know, multiple kits of a whole bunch of stuff. So when I choose the the knives that I use, I like to make sure that they're something that they're multifunctional. I can use pretty much anywhere. So um, I'm going to bring you in close. We'll take a look at the tools I use, and then I'll show you um, uh, a few things uh, that I've done. So take a look at this. All right. So when I have to remove heavy amounts of material, I'll use my cold steel trail hawk. Um, yeah, my trail hawk. And uh, if I have something that uh, needs even more work to be done, I'll use my trail boss. I don't have it here right now. It's in my uh, it's in my garage. But uh, there's my cool steel trail hawk. Um, usually, when I'm carving, um, you know, spoons and whatnot, I'll either use my mora or I'll use my my puko. Which I'll show you why I'm showing you this now because uh, this is actually the the knife I've used to, c to carve my recent project, and it is. It is fantastic. Um, also, uh, I like to use my Mora 162 for um, doing the spoons and doing the, the bowls instead of a cooksa. And also in my kit, which I showed in my uh, my sharpening uh, my my field sharpening kit, I have my Arkansas stone and I have my strop. And that is pretty much all I use. Every now and then I'll use a uh, small chipping knife, but when I, the reason why I didn't bring it out here is because it's really that rare that I use it. Um, a knife like this with the Scandi with the Scandi uh, edge on it works fantastic for carving, uh, for carving just about anything, uh, spoons, um, notches. Uh, it works all all around. Great, great tool. So these are the tools that I use, uh, and this is what I use to sharpen my tools. Um, I have used a diamond rod um, for this, but I really am not good with a diamond rod. I'd rather just use a stone and I get it to, to be quite nice, <laughs> quite sharp with this little Arkansas here and a strop. So that's good enough for me. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, sometimes if you find you need to remove the burr on the inside, I just use a, a one little dowel with a thousand grit, um, a thousand grit sandpaper on it. And I just give it one quick run, maybe two through the through the question mark there and it works just fine so um i'm going to peel back again and we're going to show you uh, something i've been working on for the last little bit and something i've got coming up so so i have some pictures i'm going to show you of uh i started on this cooksa um yesterday i uh, i picked this um when i was shooting the video for uh my kellen puko test um i picked this uh this burl off of a, a sapling and unfortunately my uh my my video didn't come out because I wanted to add that to this when I saw it my instantly thought ooh how to make a cooksa video but um, I didn't get enough good material of me harvesting it and whatnot and I wanted to show a few things like from beginning to end but uh, then I realized you know to make a a cooksa it's a real lot of work and to show each step of it it would take forever to really get in depth and to do a how to video so I figured I'll just uh, show some pictures uh, coming up of. Um, of kind of the process I went through to get through this. So you'll see these uh, right here. All right, so I'm gonna bring you in close and uh, we'll take a look at this cooksa and what I, what I, where I'm at so far. Uh, it is just roughed out and, um, but uh, later on, um, Later on in a, on Instagram, I'll probably post the finished pictures of it when it's ready. So I'll, I'll bring you in close and give you a close up of how it looks. All right. So when I picked this um, this burl here, it uh, had a couple of inf imperfections in it, and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. But I decided to go with it anyway, just to, just to get the practice with my uh, with my new knife, see how it carved and all that stuff. If I liked it, if I didn't like it, if there's anything I found. Um, all the damage done to my hand came from my Mora 162. Uh, <laughs> The um, the comfort of the um, 
of the Kelampuko was fantastic. It cut through this thing like uh, like butter, and uh, well, for most most of it anyway. Some of the burl material was harder than the others, and this is my first time uh, working with a burl, so it was uh, kind of hard to figure out which which way to carve and to get your best uh, get you know to chip it the best way. But I'll give you a close up of it, and we'll take a look. So this is kind of the design I wanted to go with. Uh, just keep in mind it is roughed out, so it is a little bit uneven there, but uh, we're, we're uh, still a work in progress. So it's got these weird patches of color into it and design. It looks really cool. It's like the like the middle of the stump. <laughs> it's probably going to check and crack, but I don't really care. This is a if it um, survives. And works out great then I'll be very happy with this if it doesn't it'll go on a shelf and uh, be something just to talk about but the inside of it coloration everything looks pretty cool I'm kind of tempted to um, shave off a bit of the handle and just have it if I can explain this properly but just have it kind of round around here have like a lip that comes around and then shave it down to where it just has this little tab of a handle on it because uh, I prefer to hold my cuxa like this anyway with my finger under there and just drink from it, but um, we'll see how, how it goes. But this is my second cuxa. I'm going to show you a picture of my first one. I think you've seen it in other videos before, but here's a look of it again. Before I started carving spoons, I haven't really, really carved anything in my life. You know, I've done a little messing around and whatever, but never actually tried doing anything. But, uh, you know, I find it something that's a, a great hobby. And uh, the best thing about it is, is it, it teaches you a lot about wood and it teaches you a lot about what your tool is. Because uh, usually when you're carving, you're going to be carving in many different, um, many different grips. You'll, you'll use them all, a lever grip, a reverse grip. You'll choke up onto it like a hunter would use it to remove a back strap. Uh, some of the grips that I've used, you know, when I'm removing heavy material, I'll take the knife in a reverse, a reverse grip and use my back muscles to remove material. And then um, when I was doing some of the finer work up close, I actually choked right up, right up onto the tip and just really round a corner with the tip of the knife. That'll actually help you out too with, uh, with that. Um, I use my, my, my thumb with a lever, with a lever action just to remove little bits at a time. And um, there's many different grips you can use and then you, you can explore with your tools that'll really let you know um, you know what your knife's made of and uh, it'll help increase your skills um, with using your knife and actually be able to get all you can out of this tool instead of um, you know carrying multiple knives and you know learning your equipment so that's the benefit of of carving I find anyway and uh, you get to c create something that uh, you like you'll be proud of and you'll work hard and uh, I'll show you a couple of the spoons that I've made you can check this out Now some of the woods that I've used have been uh, birch, obviously. Uh, I've done quite a few spoons out of birch. I've used cherry, I've used maple. Um, I think so far out of all of them, I think probably cherry is my favorite, but um, really, really carves quite nicely. Um, now once you feel like uh, challenging yourself, you can always go find uh, any guy on YouTube that does wood spirits or anything like this and follow his tutorial through and see how far you can get with something like this and you can see how far you can actually get if you have a proper a proper chipping knife like they use so um anyway guys uh i'd really like to see somebody go out there and actually uh you know go ahead and challenge yourself carve something you may think you can't do it but i can guarantee you, you can and uh every time you do something you're going to get way better at it and as you're carving your what you're coming up with is going to be nice and your skill with your tools is going to greatly jump up so it's just me giving you a quick uh, a hello and sh show you what I've been up to and uh, hope you like it and I'll see you uh, again soon with another video. You guys take care. Get out and explore.